Welcome back. In the previous part, I said we were going to start this part. I think it was here. I was going to start at that exclamation in the darkness in the bottom right. But it does require actually going through Subterra to actually get there. And there is an event in our way. So, I guess we've got to do this one first. You feel a change in the air as you make your way underground. It seems you've arrived in Sturntrum. You've arrived at Sturntrum. Seek out King Alice. That's going to be it, isn't it? Why did I bother starting this part here? Right, so I do have maps and stuff of where to go, but with this one being in the darkness, it's hard exactly to tell where in here I'm meant to go. So, ah. Uh, so we may have to break walls to get through places. Discord sword. I know somewhere there's some stairs. So if I'm looking on this map, we might be near it. Just... I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. Where exactly? Let, let, me, let me see where we are. So we're at 25 down and 20. And the stairs are 28 and 23. So we are close. It's down here somewhere. Maybe in there? Hmm. Wish I had a marker on, like, on, the, on the map here. There we go. Like, just something on this screen that said my coordinates. That would have been nice. Sternturm has no windows whatsoever, and the air feels heavy, as if burdened by the weight of death. A path can be opened by destroying the wall. Okay, right, so let me move to the right point on the maps that I've got, just so I know exactly where we're going. Oh, this is going to be awkward with this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, relax. Relax, I'm getting the maps, it's fine. Ooh, I don't want to fall down that hole. That would be bad. Right, so we are now on, what floor are we on? It says report to the witch, but I'm going all the way to the top as much as I can at this point. Right, so we are on floor... One. Okay, so what we want is to go through here. But again, it's more darkness. Right, so where are we in here? It's just very bizarre. Because it is like. It feels wrong to just oh, run through. Maybe a switch somewhere. Okay, so if we're there. Looking at the map, there's a switch here. It's exactly what we want. So there we go. Got to be wary of our reinforcements as well. So we're on level 2 now, aren't we? So, looking at the map at the moment, the stairs are fairly near us. It's just we're stuck at the moment. Get that while we're here. Kind of like this, though, at the moment. Just this sort of, like... Almost maze, but not a maze. Hmm. So that's our last reinforcement that we can use. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, so let's try and get back to where we were. The question is, can we do that? Because it's like, it's over there. It's like, ah. That's annoying. So let's do a mud exit, and we use the bell. We'll get out of here. We'll come back in a minute after we view the um, witch report. That kind of worked nicely, kind of. Enough! How long are you planning to freeload here? You're useless and we can't afford to keep feeding you. I don't need your help after all. Tracti is enough. Did you forget the deal we made? You agreed to let me stay here. You're not upholding your end of the deal. Plus, you were scared out of your mind when Baba showed up. I mean, did you see her? I, I, I think you would be. How dare you? You have no right to say that. Besides, Tracti knows just how helpful I've been to this exploration. Isn't that right, Tracti? I mean, yeah, yeah, he's been very helpful. Yes. See, Dronia? Even Tracti knows you're full of crap. That's not exactly how I put it, but okay. What? What the hell? Hello, hello! I'm back! 
What? What happened to Luca's eye? L Luca! What happened to your eye? <laughs> she probably tripped and fell or got in a fight with some other kids. Did you and Fritz have a fight? Yeah, but probably not with each other. What? Did he do this to you? Damn it. I should have been there. Neldo, I've been meaning to ask you, why do you go out of your way to be so nice to Luca? Are you... Am I what? What are you implying? Luca, I want you to stay away from this guy. My concerns have been all but confirmed. His taste in women appears to be very... specific. Poor Nelda. Uh, what the... That's a horrible misunderstanding. I demand you take that back. Pervert. Uh, hey! Anyway, Luca, what happened to your eye? This? Well... Oh, you noticed, Madame Junior? I fell down because I am so clumsy. Yep, yep. <laughs> it was the bake, wasn't it? What a bother. I have returned. Did you find anything? Unfortunately, I have yet to obtain damning evidence, but I'm certain Petroni knows this town's true form. Tr true form? Of course he does. He wrote a letter to Baba. He obviously knows about the world beyond this town. The longer I stay here, the more convinced I am that this town is cut off from the outside world. But what about food and supplies? Is this town entirely self-sufficient? Do they even import goods? All valid questions, but I must remind you that the town's historical records are considerably vast. No excuses. Work faster. Understood. Also, perhaps this is impertinent of me, but certain rumors have been spreading as of late. Patrone already complained to me, and I don't care. I was bound to get a bad reputation here sooner or later. Why, why did Luca show up and then disappear? No, this actually concerns Lady Luca's black eye. Rumor has it she was attacked by Meili, the baker's daughter. Huh? What do you mean? Did Luca steal from her? I can't imagine Lady Luca would ever do such a thing. No, 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 not Luca. Furthermore, the baker's daughter is the subject of other rumors as well. People say she steals bread from the bakery and blames children for her crimes. What? I suspect she holds you in contempt, ma'am but has chosen to make Lady Luca the target of her ire instead. This simply will not stand. Naldo came down from upstairs and walked toward the caravan door. <sighs> hey, were you eavesdropping again? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to go kill that woman. Over a black eye? That's a stupid idea, you reckless idiot. N no! That's not what happened! I fell and hurt myself! No, no, no. There's clearly more going on here, Luca. Hey! Were you eavesdropping too? Ugh, what the hell is going on around here? Are you all spying for Baba or something? If you are, confess! Or I'll scoop out your eyes and sew buttons over the sockets. Dronya's cruel threat made Luca and Balotini the third flee in terror. I swear, I'm surrounded by fools. So what are you going to do about that woman? I assume you stopped me because you have your own plan? I'm not going to do anything. It's not like she killed Luca. Now get out! And quit eavesdropping! You're unbelievable! How can you be so heartless? Dronya watches Naldo leave, then turns to address Tracti. Time is of the essence, Tracti. Your mission is to explore the labyrinth and find the remaining keys. Only two keys remain. Find them, 
no matter what it takes. With that, Dronya began searching through the books on her bookshelf. <sighs> what are you up to? This can't be good. You must find the two remaining keys, no matter what. Well, yeah. So I'm assuming I'm meant to just carry on going up the tower. So, first floor. Boom. This was our plan, so let's, let's continue. Let's see how quickly we can actually get there. Okay, so... I was hoping... I was just worried then, it's like, is that an actual floor? Or something else? Is there a way down here that, like... Wait, did I did I blast through that wall before when it's like I could have just gone down here? Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, so this is where we were. Okay, so looking from the map, what I did wrong was just be one too far over. I need this one here. Okay, I need this one here. There we go. You see? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Can you not disappear? No. Of course not. Oh, this should be easy enough. Let's throw out that and then just tell everyone else to attack normally. I'm sure about this formation. So don't you worry, don't you worry. Yeah. Witness there. Here we go. Right oh, hello. 23k. I do love this. I do love this. Another successful hunt. Indeed. Right, let's carry on then. I need the ace key? Where the hell do I get the ace key from? That's the question. It's like, what was that? Maybe in here? The room is filled with bodies. They seem to be workers of some sort. You notice something shining among the dead? You obtain the ace key. That answers that, doesn't it? I didn't expect it to be that quick in terms of finding it. It's like, oh. The tower seems to go on and on. You should report to Madame Dronya. Why? I've literally just gone through a door. That's all I've done. That's all I've done. Let's let's continue. Right, so we've arrived here. So we want to do looking at everything is go through this door. And if we blast through here, should put us in a nice area. Switch. And we should be at somewhere around here. There we go. I'm basically showing this and like if anyone's following along basically like they don't have to find the maps themselves. Okay, so looking at everything here. Yes, run away from me. So looking at this. Like maybe a switch somewhere, but what's the point? It's probably that one. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, we do have something in front of us. We need the jack key. Is there anywhere on this floor? There's another exclamation, so maybe that's where we get the jack key. Oh, he's not moving. Hmm. Where exactly do we have to go to get in this room? Let's blast the wall. Right. Hello, you come across a fly soldier. The smell of rotting meat lingers in the air. <laughs> I'm Seth. You're still alive. How dare you? I won't let you approach the queen. Fight! Oh! Is this gonna be a warning? Oh, it's an actual boss fight. Oh, very well. Okay, so we'll actually put everything to the test now. So let's get the will dampen and piercing rush. We don't need any area treatment just yet, so that's fine. And we'll get the Faunax mode there. This should work. Now see how we do. First test of this actual You're setup. Mine. I'll crush you all. Was that it? It's like 2k damage. I won. Why was that a warning? And like 2k damage to him and that was it. What? You see something shining in the fly soldier's entrails. You obtain the jack key. What? How was... What? That was stupidly easy. Like, 
I would have been fine regardless. I need you out the way. Out the way. Oh, fine, I'll go this way. Nope, stop running away. Oh, he's so annoying, that guy. So annoying. I just want to get back to the exclamation without having to do a fight. Thank you very much. Oh, a shining soul. I do have like 30 of them. That's the only thing. Aha, here we go. Right, so, finally. You sense a foreboding presence at the top floor of the tower. Perhaps you should report to Madame Duronia. But we're going to have several events coming up then. Because we're still proceeding. Right, so what floor are we on now? We are on floor six. So obviously we want to head over to the exclamation, I assume. Hmm. So if we're on floor six. Feels like the map's gone wrong. Is that the right? I, I, this is not helpful to you at all. Is that, no, no, I, th I, th I think I just didn't scroll down the map. So it's fairly simple from the looks of it. So it should be. There. So helpful having these maps, it really is. Okay, so next floor. So what was the exclamation down below? I don't know. Hmm. This one could be a bit more tricksy. Because the uh, actual stairs are just a bit over. So if I go here, this is essentially the right way. But we may have to smash quite a few things to get through. And as we know, I do need to set up a mud exit at some point. Okay, so I need to go a bit further across. So I think this is the point where we actually head back and do some stuff at the caravan. So, mud exit. And we shall... D -d -d item... Witch bell. No, I, want, I do want to use it, yes. There we go. No. <laughs> Look at me! Really? Right. Which report? <sighs> Finally finished the day's work. Nice thing about working in a bakery is you get to open early and close early. Y you! Yes. May we speak in private? We have business with you. Oh yes, we've got to wait for the bells, haven't we? I was like, what's going on? The bells. What? Why'd you bring me here to talk? To teach you a lesson. Well, I only did what I did because you tricked me. So it wasn't my fault, okay? I didn't do nothing wrong. That's why I've come to apologize to you. What? I'm sorry for deceiving you. Please forgive me. To show you how sincere I am... I've brought what you desire. John, your offers a small vial to Melee, filled with a white, cloudy substance. What are you up to? This is a powerful transmutation potion. Drink it, and you can alter your form to that of any other person. And why would you want to do that? Transmutation is taught to few witches. I'm the only court witch in the Halt's kingdom who knows the art. C court witch? I knew it! I knew you were a witch! Hmm. Yes, you were right. And as a witch, I shall lend you my power so that you may find the love you seek. With that potion, you can alter your form so that you resemble the type of woman your love truly desires. Lady Juliet, for example. She is beautiful and adored by all. You could easily use that potion to look like her. Look like Juliet, huh? This, what is the potion actually going to do? However, the person you wish to become must be the one to give you that potion to drink. It will take some effort on your part, but the results are well worth it. What are you going- What are you doing? It's clearly not what you're saying it is. Bells. 
The evening bell rang ominously. From there you can do as you please. But once you change your appearance, it cannot be undone. Keep that in mind. Please accept this transmutation potion as a sign of reconciliation. In exchange, you are never to lay a hand on the people in my house. Hmm, is that all you're after? Or, again, I still feel like this potion is actually going to be doing something else. <sighs> Dronya's eyes glow an eerie crimson. Gonna go with it this time. At that moment, Meili approaches Jonya. Meili snatches the knife hanging from Jonya's waist and plunges it into her stomach. <gasps> oh, this is not gonna end well for you, Meili. Ah, don't feed me that crap! You're just here to avenge your apprentice! You're no witch. You're just a two-bit con artist. You think I'm stupid enough to fall for your tricks, do ya? It's with the music. <sighs> Drawn your wretched thick gobs of blood. I, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I'm telling you, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I never thought I'd get stabbed. Yeah, it, it, it is a bit strange. I didn't expect you to get stabbed either. I wasn't thorough enough. <laughs> How like me. Bronya's last words before she died in that alley were a name and an apology. Died? Oh, well, alright then. What? How could it- What? Now, what's going on here? Died? Wait a bit. Hmm. What could we have done different there? That there's nothing I- uh, There was nothing I could do, right? Is this gonna... Hmm... Hmm... If my theory on this whole time travel thing is correct, which, you know, we haven't had much evidence for that beyond the start of the game, it feels like we're gonna sort of maybe, like, jump to a different Dronya in theory? Maybe it's like a different dimension's Dronya, but at a different point in the story? I don't know. This is quite strange. Didn't expect this to happen, obviously. Unless that's the end of the game, that's it. There, there is... What is going on? Can you get... I don't want to skip the credits, but I want to know what the hell is going on. That can't be it. Okay. Yes, yeah, Nippon Ichi Software. Yeah, yeah, niece. Gotcha. What did that mean? Dead end. I mean, that's appropriate. Great clear data. If you do not, you will return to the title screen. We strongly recommend saving the data in a separate file. Okay. I guess we'll end this part here, then in the next part we'll see what we've got to do. Ta-ta for now.